the Renaissance, a time of rebirth, recovery, and an explosion of artistic and scientific creativity that would shatter the medieval world forever. The Renaissance happened in northern Italy and lasted from the 14th century to the 16th century. After recovering from the ravages of the Black Plague that decimated one-third of Europe, there was a rebirth of new ideas that overturned the Dark Ages. From Leonardo to Michelangelo, some of the greatest thinkers and artists emerged from this time. Jonas Guttenberg was also a great innovative thinker who had an invention that would change the way the world thought and communicated, the printing press. The printing press allowed ideas to spread quickly and more efficiently. One of the most influential and significant conditions that allowed greater communications and the spread of ideas to emerge was the invention and innovations in printing. Although printing had been used by the Chinese for hundreds of years, new innovations in typography allowed for faster and more efficient ways of printing books and other texts. Typography was invented by a German goldsmith who went by the name of Jonas Gutenberg. Because of the invention of typography, letters could be moved and placed in different areas and also reused thousands of times without having to be replaced. This meant books and other texts could be duplicated faster without having to replace the metal or wooden letters. Jonas Gutenberg also helped standardize the English, German, and French languages as we know it today and because of this, typography made printing much faster and more efficient. For example, the printing press was able to print 200 seats per hour. This was far faster than any scribe writing by hand. Because of the introduction of typography, it became easier for the public to access writing and literature. What we mean by this is now that typography was being used in Europe, books became less expensive because they were in higher quantities. Now, a higher majority of the public could be educated. This helped the spread of communications and new ideas. Another condition that helped the development and spread of communications was France and Germany waging war in Italy. This would usually negatively affect communications, but it did help the spread of the Renaissance. Innovations into Italy helped expose monarchs and nobility to Renaissance worldviews and ideas. Some of the European aristocracy took ideas from Italy as they looked for ways to increase the sophistication of their courts. Communications was a catalyst of the Renaissance. By this we mean the Renaissance would not have been able to expand and develop without communications and the spread of new ideas. One of the largest roles communications played in the Renaissance was spreading others' world views and ideas. The spread of new knowledge and ideas was the basis for the development of the Renaissance. By this we mean without communications and the spread of new ideas, Europe may not have been able to come out of the Dark Ages. So without the spread of new ideas, the Europeans may not have recovered from some of the challenges and tribulations of the 14th century. Communications also helped people develop art, science, and mathematics. Perhaps no other invention has changed the world as much as the new innovations of the printing press. By this, I mean the printing press was able to mass produce large amounts of knowledge in text much faster and more efficiently than the conventional way of writing books and articles by hand. This caused books and other texts to drop substantially in price. Now that books were less expensive and in larger amounts, a larger and more vast amount of the public would be able to access the books, thus creating an uproar of new knowledge and communications. An example of this was when Galileo published a new book challenging the church's view on the earth being the center of the universe. After the invention of the printing press, there was some controversy over the printed books. Most of the books that have been copied by hand have to be carefully edited before published because they are full of mistakes and not everyone agreed with these changes. Not everyone liked the appearance of the printed books. Wealthy men had the option to hire scribes and let them copy the book by hand and illustrate the book just the way the man wanted. Lastly, leaders of the Roman Catholic Church did not want common people to have the Bible in their own language because the people did not need a clergy to interpret the Bible for them. This is why the printers had to be careful about the books that they had printed. There were lots of books circulating around at the time, and this made humanistic ideas, classical Roman, and Roman texts easy to access. The knowledge of the printing press spread quickly down the Silk Road. Soon, people wanted more topics on the books, such as romances and travel logs. By the 1500s, there were more than 200 printing presses in Venice, 
and 250 presses in German towns. As a result, Renaissance ideas spread throughout Italy, and these ideas were changed and adapted by the citizens of other parts of Europe, which reflected their societies. The printing press also contributed immensely to Western society. Specifically, factories can now mass produce books and newspapers for the general public to read. Mass producing books cost less, is easier, and faster than writing books by hand. For example, the Calgary Herald. People in Calgary can read what is happening in their community and what is happening around the world. You can also read about major topics like sports, news, and entertainment. Libraries could also hold a lot more books at lower prices. As a result, people became more literate, smarter by reading and learning more about the world around them, and people could write their own books to spread their own ideas and opinions about the world. The printing press is an invention that had a long-lasting impact and would change the Renaissance and current Western society forever. Without the spread of ideas, the Europeans might not have been able to come out of the Dark Ages. People became more literate and smarter because of books. And without books, people today would have trouble in everyday life. The printing press was probably one of the most important and transformation inventions ever.